Beautiful. I appreciate that, folks. I did that set just for you because, uh, and you notice I didn't curse once during it. Anyone notice that? The reason I did that set is because that's the set I did Friday night on the David Letterman show that was canceled by CBS. <laughs> and I was completely erased from the show because they felt you, the audience, are too stupid to know that these are jokes or to have material on that might have ideas associated with them other than, boy, food on airplanes sucks, don't it? Or, gee, 7-Eleven sure are expensive, aren't they? Or any number of other stupid, banal, trite, puerile jokes that we know all by heart so that they can keep you without any kind of social fucking awareness and keep us separated from each other while they hawk their fucking beer commercials. There it is, CBS, the Cunt Broadcasting Network. Totally edited me on the show. The show went great that night. The crowd loved it. I came back to the hotel. I get a call from the producer, Bill. Sorry, you touched too many hot spots. And I was like, what? The crowd liked it. Well, you don't, what about the crowd at home? Well, why do you think the crowd at home is different than the crowd in your studio? They're all your fans watching your show. Bill, you don't understand our audiences. What do you, grow them on fucking farms? <laughs> Is your audience comprised of people? I understand them. I play to them all the time. You know, I'm a person. <laughs> you know what really pisses me off the most is I am a big David Letterman fan. And, and, and it's almost like finding out there's no Santa Claus or your folks are Santa Claus. You know, they, they said, well, Bill, we fought in with CBS tooth and nail to get the set on, but we'd have to edit so much out that... Uh, there'd be nothing left. And I was like, well, why do you have to edit anything out? You know, you approved the set. <clears throat> and anyway, they fucking folded like a house of cards. And uh, meanwhile, Bob Saget's on the night. So that gives you an idea of the level of comedy they think you can handle. You understand how much contempt the networks have for us to put on that puerile bullshit and not give me, not just me, but anyone else with a point of view, perhaps, Maybe even one you don't agree with on television. They kowtow to the fucking special interest groups and a couple of deranged motherfucking people who hear the word Jesus and think immediately you're making fun of Jesus when I did not make fun of Jesus. They hear the word gay. I did not make fun of gays. What I made fun of was a double standard that exists in this fucking country. They think you're too stupid to see through that. And that's exactly what they fucking count on while they fucking sell the number two killer drug in this country, fucking alcohol, and they have the gall to do it in your fucking living room with your children there. They don't even lurk around playgrounds. Yeah! You drug-feeling capitalist motherfucker. Yeah. And here's the punchline to the whole story. You ready? Bill. We really love you, and we want you back on in a couple of weeks. <laughs> really? I don't know if I can learn to juggle that quickly. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bill Hicks. I used to have a social conscience and want to help the world by trying to point out how our belief systems are affecting us negatively. Now, watch this, an apple. <laughs> Stay stupid, America. Keep drinking beer. Stay stupid. <laughs> Fuck it. As though TV were the moral arbiters of our society. You know what I mean? That's the position they try. Standards and practices. That was the word. It wasn't censored. Our standards and practice guy said you hit too many hot spots. <laughs> you have standards? <laughs> Is this, isn't this the same network that shows Full House? Uh... Where are your standards, exactly? Stupid to retarded? Is that the level you're trying to put out to America? So, understandably, I'm very hoarse. I've been, you know, discussing this and wondering what action to take. And I think I'm gonna, the action I'm going to take is we take what I just did and we're going to play it for uh, many, many people and show them the exact set. Yeah! Cancel. And see if you, the audience, were so offended, if you felt so threatened, by my little skit that you went out of your fucking mind. <laughs> you know, 
it amazes me how afraid they are of one person. A, a, a basically, a joke blower. Basically, all I am is a joke blower. You know, I'm not the back of some Mexican blowing jokes all over the driveway. Fairly harmless guy that I am. Believer in love and anti-war and truth. And I think the values of this country that originally formed, freedom of fucking expression. And instead, what you're met, met, met with is what's happened. Everything wrong with this country is that kowtowing to special, not even special interest groups. I know their big fear was the pro-life movement because those people are terrorists. Okay? But they're a minority. They're not the majority. You know what? Majority of people are very reasonable, I found. And you know what? They don't write letters when something offends them on TV. Because reasonable people know it's just fucking television. <laughs> not only that, reasonable people have a wife. They're not sitting in some trailer with some fucking crayon in their hand, some chicken scrawl going, that's all God talk about Jesus, only two. Only go to me no more. And also, reasonable people know, ultimately, they're just fucking jokes. Are you so afraid of a guy telling jokes? I'm very offended, and, and I love the Letterman Show, and they've always been good. No, they haven't been good, to be honest with you. Every single set I've ever done, they devolved me, okay? <laughs> and I put up with it. You know why? Because I love the fucking show, and I love Dave Letterman, and I put up with it. But you know what I realize now? I'm in an abusive fucking relationship. <laughs> I'm going to do another routine. I'm going to make another point here. I'm going to do another routine that they once edited out uh, about seven years ago. I did this routine, and literally five minutes before the show, standards and practice guy said I couldn't do the routine. This is my ending routine for the set. Now, I don't know if you've ever done a comedy show. Uh, but you'll find the ending is a fairly important part of the set. Anyway, it was the same thing. The producer, Robert Borton, agreed the set was fine. And then he had me running over with standards and practices. This is how it works. The guy sat there unsmiling, jingling keys in his pocket during my... I performed like a monkey in a hallway for this guy. Because, again, I was a young kid at the time, and I loved the show, and it was a break, and, you know, whatever. You know, I sold myself short. I didn't have enough respect for myself to go, you know what? I don't want to be a part of this compromised fucking world you live in while you act like you're the moral arbiters of the world and yet all you are are fucking whores at a capitalist game bank. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to be part of your world anymore. You know what I mean? I like the fucking show and I give my best on that fucking show and they fucking wife beat me and I, came, I, I went back for more for six years. Yeah. You see what Robert Morton, the producer, said to me on the phone on the night he called right after we set, uh, the set was taped when he said... We're not going to air it. He said to me, but could you be back on in two weeks? And then he goes, Bill, we take full responsibility because we okayed the set, but we only wish we'd spent more time with you in the clubs working on the set so that we could have edited all that out before you got here. Well, I don't want to be edited out at all. You know? Edit, edit what out? Which joke? Why? I didn't go up and say the Pope's a faggot. You know what? I mean? Which he is, but I didn't say that. I didn't say that on the show. You heard what I did, and I just did it for you. I mean, it's front page fucking stories. I mean, you know what I mean? All I'm doing is walking through the front page of the fucking paper and commenting on it. Anyway, I'm going to...